HbA1c means the amount of sugar that was you know attached to your red blood cells that is what is reflected as HbA1c so HbA1c means that uh, it indicates how good your blood sugar is and actually it's very reflective of your adherence to the treatment so i would say HbA1c reflects the overall glycemic control in other words sugar control in the last 3 months that is quite useful for all the diabetic patients when they want to adjust their medications and also when they want to adjust their lifestyle well yes so diabetes yeah per se the name itself says diabetes means like is high sugar level in your blood but that does not mean that it's confined only to your blood it can affect any part of your body so because we all know that blood blood passes to all the organs in our body so mostly eyes kidneys heart brain nerves all these parts of our body can be affected if the sugar control is not properly you know controlled so i think Uh, diabetes control is kind of crucial in preventing the complications because that is the overall goal of any treatment of diabetes yeah well yes so of course so when it comes to hba1c in diabetics i would like to emphasize to the public that uh, it is not like what you have eaten yesterday or the day before i believe it's more reflective of what medications and what lifestyle you have chosen in the last 3 months that is very reflective of your glycemic control rather than what you have eaten yesterday or the day before because i do see lots of patients coming to the clinic telling i have eaten lots of sugars last night so will my hba1c will be affected it's not like that hba1c is, is more kind of you know it's like average performance in the last 90 days how your sugar ha- control has been well achieved so that is how the hba1c is calculated so in my opinion the public should be very aware of the fact that the hba1c is a really a good indicator of your overall sugar control in the last 3 months and it's very crucial for helping diabetics to manage their you know sugars